Off the top tonight, we begin with a story that you'll only see on 8. For the first time since a crack in a 13-year-old cold case, we're hearing from the parents of a man killed on a beach in California back in 2004. The brutal murder is something that's haunted Jason Allen's parents, along with the Zeeland and Jenner, California communities ever since. Police are talking to a suspect right now who's actually behind bars for an entirely different reason. 24-Hour News Ace Lindsay McComb will sat down with Jason's parents tonight to see how they feel about the man accused of killing their son. I feel pity for him because he was being controlled by Satan and evil in this world. The Allens have waited nearly 13 years to see their son and his fiancé's killer answer for his brutal crime. The Sonoma County Sheriff's Office has named Sean Gallen as their main suspect in the 2004 murders. After a certain amount of time, then you start thinking, well, maybe it's not going to be solved, you know. So it, it did come as a shock, but we were... We were relieved. The Allens have always been strong in their faith. Jason, a proud Christian, felt called to work at a Christian adventure camp in California the summer of 2004. His fiance, Lindsay Cutshall, traveled with him to work there. Their wedding set for that September. Lindsay had the same desires that he did to serve the Lord in ministry, especially to young people, and she had a deep faith. Jason was their goofball. He collected driftwood, pieces that still sit in their basement. But the piece mounted on their wall came to his parents after his death, a sign from their son. We're just sitting there and that bounced into the, the raft and, and Lindsay's brother-in-law picked it up and he made this for us. In addition to keeping Jason's memory alive in their home, it's also on paper. The Allens wrote a book about relying on their faith to cope with this unfathomable loss. If you are reading this book to find a way to deal with the loss of a loved one without completely surrendering your life to God, you will not find it here. Dolores began taking notes early on in the investigation, and eventually the two tied their grief to a plan that was out of their hands. That's the only way I think we were able to get through this without being bitter and without being angry because um, we've, we've had that grace from the Lord. Another form of saving grace has been the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office. The Allens visited the department over the years. And you go through all these cubicles, one after another, and they had pictures of Jason and Lindsay there. The detectives kept faith that they'd find Jason and Lindsay's killer, and the Allens hope their son's killer will find faith too. But they still have questions about that night. Why did you pick Jason and Lindsay? And the fact that it, it hurt us deeply, it took a part of us with them when they, when they were killed. That was Lindsay McComo reporting. The DA's office handling the case tells us they are still waiting for the investigation to be sent to the prosecutor's office. Meantime, Gallen is in jail right now for his own brother's murder. In the middle of all that, he apparently made statements to authorities connecting him to the cold case murders. We will continue to monitor the story and bring you any updates on air and online.